All right, folks, so spread across this cowhide, as you can see, we have everything from a rasp to a hatchet. And I'll first start off with a hatchet. Um, I will carry this from time to time, depending on the area I'm in, if I'm in a riparian zone or if I'm in the pine country where we have a lot of thick vegetation to work with. I definitely see the need of this tool. We have more wood to work with. We have uh, uh, different mesquite. We have cottonwoods, willows, elderberries, pines, scrub oaks, so forth and so on. Uh, this can be used from everything to building a shelter to making a bow all the way to processing firewood. So this definitely will have its place. In the drier, arid environments, such as the East Mojave, I will not carry this because of the lack of vegetation and the lack of water, so this will uh, stay at home. So once again, I've been using this for quite some time. You can see that it has quite a bit of use on it, uh, and it holds a very, very good edge. It's very sharp, very easy to maintain, and definitely serves its purpose for recreational and bushcraft use. The next thing is a good folding saw. Uh, I've went over this many, many times in my videos. Uh, this thing has its purpose in drier climates and more arid climates to where you're going to find uh, Palo Verde, um, uh, different yuccas, and, uh, and creosote. Um, all the way up to the pine country and riparian zones to where it gets real thick. It's very, very light. It's actually about the same weight as my rose clippers here. This is a pair of Florian clippers that I'll carry. It's a ratchet clipper, so it, uh, it can cut thicker and, and heavier material at once, and, and you don't have to struggle with it. That ratchet really comes in handy. And if you are going to carry a pair of clippers, the Florian clippers are the way to go. Christopher Niergesh sells these on his website. I'll have a link in the description box. These definitely come in handy, though. And then I have a good Swiss multi-tool. This has a thin blade, so I can do a lot of fine carving work with this. It has an eyeglass repair tool all the way to a backup saw. I'll use this backup saw um, for uh, traps and trigger systems to carve those out and, and to process wood that way. So a lot of finer work and a lot of finer sawing. And then we have a metal file that I'll use for wood. I'll mainly use this. Uh, for arrow making and traps and triggers. So making the knocks on your arrow, that comes in quite handy. And then moving on to my knife, I have, uh, I have a nice thin profiled knife. You guys have seen this before. This is an AA Forge custom knife. Uh, beautiful tool, very ergonomic, comfortable, performs extremely well with fine carving tasks and slicing capabilities. It's very light. It's not meant for chopping, batoning, or prying. If I'm going to do that, that's where a hatchet comes in. And then the last tool is my rasp. This rasp is about the same weight as my Swiss tool, so it's very light. It has a, a coarse saw blade on one side, then you flip it over, and it has a fine saw blade. So I'll use this for bow making and uh, smoothing out different objects or, or processing small amounts of wood so I'm not taking a whole bunch off all at once. I can work real slow with this tool. Uh, so this is what I carry um, you know, in different areas depending on what area I'm in. Uh, this thing can change. So for example, if I'm in an area where there's not a lot of vegetation, I'll take these two out and I'll leave these four tools in. So there we have it. I do appreciate you joining me for this video. I'm Jeff with martinsurvival.com. We'll see you in the next one.